Good morning, good afternoon, good evening from wherever you're watching in the world. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to this video. Happy New Year. So in today's video, I'm going to create a professional looking wine photo without all these high-end budgets and expensive gear. But before we begin the video, let me just tell you a bit about myself. So I'm a 15-year-old Ghanaian aspiring to be a photographer in the future. And one of my New Year resolutions was to begin a YouTube channel about photography. Now, this channel is going to be all about creativity and trying new stuff. Instead of buying all these expensive gear and having high-end budgets, we are just going to use cheap stuff and make something out of nothing. Let's go. This is going to be a fast-paced video and if you see the need to slow down, then please do. So for this video, you need wine, a wine case and a softbox. You are probably wondering what a softbox is and why you need it. A softbox is basically an object used to diffuse light being shown on a subject to make the image more pleasing and flattering. So I don't actually have a softbox and I made one out of my old movable closets. But now let me show you how you can make your own improvised softbox. So for your softbox, you need 5 layers of diffusion sheet, 12 small pieces of metal and what I call plastic joiners because I don't know the actual name. Now we are going to build our softbox in the form of a cube and place all the sheets of diffusion everywhere leaving one space to place our light in. Now let's begin building our softbox. Avengers Assemble! So we place the wine in the case and put our improvised softbox over our light and begin to take the photos. So for this editing process I will not go in depth because I want you to give your own creative look to the image. So this is the image straight out of the camera. What I did was to import it into Capture One, darken it and add a few minor changes to get this final image you see on your screen. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. Please like and subscribe and let me know what you think about the video down in the comments. I'll put the gear I use in my description. Until the next time we meet, adios.